As Town Mayor of St. Ives, I welcome you to our Service of Remembrance 2014, an iconic year as it is a hundred years since the Great War, now known as World War I, began and 75 years since the Second World War II. We look at the many names on this cross with great sadness, but also with great respect for those who made the ultimate sacrifice in order to defend freedom, protect our country, and preserve our way of life. We remember all those who have suffered and died in conflict since. We remember their past, which they gave for our future. I have the honour to lead this parade and service, and to be accompanied by a representative of the Queen, one of her deputy lieutenants, who honours this town by his presence, and is here with us to honour our dead. and have not love, I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not love, I am nothing. When I was a child, I speak as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face now I know in part, but then shall I know even, as also I am known. And now abideth faith, hope and love, these three, but the greatest of these is love. Let us remember before God and commend to his sure keeping those who have died for their country in war. We salute and we remember Brother Kenneth R. Watton, leading aircraftman Charlie Wright, Flight Sergeant Charles S. Wright, Private H. Thomas Allen, Guardsman William D. Reynolds, Private Alfred J. Brew, Private Herbert Simmons, MM, Private A. George Stevens, Mel. Private Frederick A. Dumpling, Private James C. Feary, Stoker Clemens M. Freeman, Private Walter G. Fuller, Private George P. Fison, Sigma James V. Gale, Private Frank L. Deason, Private Sister Iris H. Main, Private Frank Masterson, Engineer Wilfred H. New R. H. Abe Seaman, John F. Miller, Private John W. Moore, and Corporal Robert F. Molson. We will remember. So remember those killed in action since 1945 in Palestine, Malaya, the Yangtze River, Korea, the Canal Zone, Kenya, Cyprus, Suez. The Arabian Peninsula, the Congo, Brunei, Borneo, Aden, Northern Ireland, Dofar, Rhodesia, the Falkland Islands, in the Gulf War, Iraq, Cambodia, the Balkans, Sierra Leone, Afghanistan and Libya. We also particularly remember this day Private William Roden of the Bedfordshire Regiment, whose life was taken away on this day 
the 9th of November, 1940. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down in the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we give our today. your blessing on our Queen, our country and our Commonwealth. Give wisdom and strength to all in authority, guide those who make our laws, inform those who direct our common life, that together we may fill your purpose of peace and justice for all people. Through the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh. Lord, hear our prayer for all who serve in the armed forces of the crown. Grant them courage in danger, strength when hard duty calls, faith that when all around is dark and evil seems to be winning, you are there for them. Hear our prayer for those who still bear the scars of conflict in their bodies or their minds. All who tonight will cry themselves to sleep. Lord, we pray for those who were our enemies, whose homes and hearts were also bereft, whose dead also lie in remembrance, who know the pain of mourning. We remember those you have gathered into the peace of your presence, those we have known and loved, whose example has been an encouragement to us. Make us faithful that we may, with them, receive through Jesus, the crown of life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Lord God, our Father, we pledge ourselves to serve thee and all mankind in the cause of peace, for the relief of want and suffering, and for the praise of thy name. Guide us by thy Spirit, Give us wisdom, give us courage, give us hope, and keep us faithful, now and always. Amen.
Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Amen.